guys, gals, and non-binary pals. We are Strava segment hunting today. I'm on my long run. This is kind of a local route for me. And most of it will be really steady. But there's a particular uh, hill that I'm going to try and give a really good bash at. See if I can improve on my time and get into the top 10 on the leaderboard. I have done this segment once before, quite a while ago now. So, <laughs> sincerely hoping there'll be some, some improvement at the very least. So the segment in question is Bikers Classic in Warncliffe Woods. It's very steep. It's essentially a, a downhill run for mountain bikes, but the Strava segment is just on the, the uphill bit. I think there is a downhill segment as well, but we're only interested in the uphill segment today. The nice thing about living in North Sheffield, despite its uh, kind of lack of amenities in comparison to South Sheffield, is that I at least am able to incorporate Warncliffe Woods into long runs from my doorstep, which is really nice, and I <laughs> enjoy being able to do that. just realised that to warn vehicles that there's a power line overhead. I've only lived in Sheffield for three years and been running here all of that time. <laughs> I've only just figured that out. Okay, we're here. I'm not mentally ready for this. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably gonna just leave the GoPro running, I think, for the duration. Um, and obviously not subject you to the entire thing. <laughs> All right. I don't even know if I went the right way. There's lots of like diverging paths. And that was awful. Uh, I guess I can't remember what my original time was at the minute. So I'll have to put that on the screen and stuff. I lapped it on my watch and that said four minutes, 26, I think. Which sounds quite slow. I didn't feel very strong, I don't think. You'd have to just turn the camera off a couple of times. Because like holding the camera up was too much additional effort. Here's what it is, I suppose. Okay. I'm just gonna do the rest of my run now. We're uh, nearly 8k in. So 
just under halfway through the whole run um, and I'm gonna meander my way over to Greno and then down through Greno Woods and then just through the outskirts of Sheffield and then that'll be me and my run for the day <coughs> that's 17 kilometres in total starting to build mileage back up again gradually in preparation for starting my mountain marathon training block in mid-November so not too far off all of that kicking off really uh, in other news I ran the Kerbal Commotion on Saturday which is a 16 kilometer bell race organized by Kerbal Primary School really good race really enjoyed it um, and I did it in an hour and 35 minutes which that's pretty good for me the leaders were were rounding like half an hour faster than that but <laughs> uh, I felt good enjoyed it a lot and uh, this week I have PR'd on my squat and my deadlift so my strength training is working my squat is now at 78 kilograms up from 72.5 at the beginning of September which is 78 kilograms is 134 percent of my body weight so it's pretty good for me <laughs> um squats one of my weaker lifts and then my deadlift um is at 102.5 kilograms up from um 95 kilograms at the beginning of September so yeah really pleased with that that's 100 and uh, 177 percent of my body weight yeah really happy with how the strength training is going um, and I'm looking forward to continuing to lift heavy for another couple of months before I need to start kind of easing off on the weight a bit so that it doesn't get in the way of running <coughs> but yeah it's nice to have a bit of an off season and do something a little bit different That's all the updates I think, so I'm just going to carry on with my run and I will leave you to the rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time. <laughs>